A very good afternoon. You're watching the Big Lunch Hour with me, Akshita. And first up, ARP leader Kumar Vishwas has made serious allegations against the BJP. He has said that a BJP MP asked him to join the party and help it win Delhi elections. Vishwas, who lost the parliamentary elections from Ameti constituency, made the startling claims while speaking to a leading newspaper. He also claimed that 12 ARP MLAs who did not want a re-election were willing to support the proposal. He also said that the BJP offered him the Delhi's chief ministerial post. Meanwhile, the BJP has reacted sharply on the accusation and condemned the remarks made by Kumar Vishwas. So, जो अच्छे मित्र हैं अलग अलग संगठनों में उनमें से भारतीय जनता पार्टी के एक नव निर्वाचित सांसद मित्र अवश्य मिलने आए थे रात को आए थे और काफी देर तक हम लोग बैठे रहे क्योंकि पुराने दोस्त हैं दस पंद्रह साल पुरानी दोस्ती है उन्होंने मुझे ये कहा कि आप इधर आ जाइएगा और आप मुख्यमंत्री के मटीरियल है हमारी ऊपर भी बात हुई है और कुछ आम आदमी पार्टी के विधायक भी आ जाएंगे आपके नाम पर और हमारा उनसे भी संवाद है देश बनाइए राष्ट्र बनाइए तो मैंने कहा आप बनाइए राष्ट्र सरकार ने देश ने आपको जिम्मेदारी दी है और हम पूरी हमारी पूरी शुभकामनाएं हैं राष्ट्र निर्माण में हम जैसे अकिंचन का कोई सहयोग होगा सामान्य नागरिक के नाते तो हम जरूर करेंगे हर एक को करना चाहिए क्योंकि नरेंद्र मोदी भारतीय जनता पार्टी के प्रधानमंत्री नहीं है नरेंद्र मोदी 125 करोड़ भारतीयों के प्रधानमंत्री हैं चुनाव से पहले वो भाजपा के कैंडिडेट थे ये सरकार बीजेपी की नहीं है ये सरकार मेरी है ये सरकार हर आम आदमी की हर व्यक्ति की है तो अगर सरकार अच्छा करेगी तो प्रशंसा भी हम ही करेंगे और सरकार खराब करेगी well, that was the statement made by Kumar Vishwas that's definitely uh, left a lot of people wondering if there's any truth to the statement, whether the BJP did in fact approach Kumar Vishwas to join their party. And uh, let's also take a look at some of the reactions that are poured in from the Amadmi party itself. <laughs> वो उनसे मिलने के लिए गए थे और उन्होंने उनको मुख्यमंत्री बनने का ऑफर दिया था कि आप 18 विधायक तोड़ के लाइए और आपको मुख्यमंत्री बनाए देगी हमारी पार्टी तो इस प्रकार का प्रयास भारतीय जनता पार्टी पहले से ही करती रही है जिसके लिए हम लोग बीच-बीच में आगाह किए कि भाजपा जोर-थोर की राजनीति कर रही है भाजपा संविधान और मर्यादा को ताक पर रख के सरकार बनाने की कोशिश कर रही है और हमारे विधायकों को डराने धमकाने की कोशिश कर रही है जिस पे वंदना कुमारी जी ने एफआईआर भी दर्ज कराई थी एक मामले में हम लोग महामहिम राष्ट्रपति जी से भी मिले थे उनसे भी हमने गुहार की थी कि यहां संविधान की मर्यादा की रक्षा की जाए तो अभी देखिए आप दो तीन दिन से फिर से उन्होंने कहानी शुरू कर दी and of course, the Aam Aadmi Party going ahead and standing by Kumar Vishwas saying that the BJP is trying to go ahead and poach their MLAs as well as their leaders in all. And of course, this particular claim by Kumar Vishwas has been slammed by the BJP. They claim that they have not approached Kumar Vishwas with any such offer and there was absolutely no need to do the same. In fact, Shanawaz Hussain also reacted to this particular statement by Kumar Vishwas. पूरी तरह से आम आदमी पार्टी अफवाह फैलाने वाली पार्टी बन गई है भारतीय जनता पार्टी के पास नेता का अकाल नहीं है जो हम किसी अन्य दल से लाकर मुख्यमंत्री बनाएंगे अब तो अरविंद केजरीवाल भी एक बार मुख्यमंत्री बन गए हैं उसके बाद अब उनके मुख्यमंत्री बनने के कोई चांस आगे कई साल नहीं जहां तक सवाल सरकार बनाने का है ये मामला माननीय उपराज्यपाल के पास है उपराज्यपाल सबसे बड़ी पार्टी होने के नाते अगर हमें निमंत्रण देंगे तो हम जरूर उस पर विचार करेंगे और विचार करके निर्णय करेंगे लेकिन बिना विचार के हम इस पर जब तक निर्णय नहीं करेंगे जब तक हमारे पास कोई निमंत्रण नहीं आएगा अभी तक हमारे पास कोई निमंत्रण नहीं है और जहां तक सवाल है कि किसी आम आदमी पार्टी के नेता को मुख्यमंत्री बनाने की बात का इसमें कोई इस खबर का सर पैर नहीं है कुमार विश्वास साहब बताएं कि उनको किसने ऑफर किया किस नेता ने कहा सिर्फ भ्रम फैलाना ठीक नहीं है
And moving on, Karthik Gowda has filed for anticipatory bail from the city civil court after reports that the police could possibly arrest him after calling him in for questioning in the rape and cheating case against his name filed by Maitreya Gowda. Karthik was booked under sections 376 and section 420. What we have to keep in mind is that the police in all likelihood will call Karthik Gowda in for questioning today. And having said that also, uh, if in fact he gives uh, out uh, these uh, answers, it's expected that he could possibly be taken into custody as well. To avoid that kind of a situation, Karthik Gowda has gone ahead and sought for anticipatory bail. Meanwhile, Sadhana the Gauda also reacted on the controversy but continued to do what politicians are known to do best, take the high road and maintain a neutral stand, saying that law will take its course and that the law is the same for one and all. I, I will not make any statements. Law will take its own course. I said that uh, since last three days after uh, this episode or incident came out, see, I was on my duty. I had been to Cochin to inaugurate uh, Jandan Yojana. Yesterday I was in Delhi, I was in my office. Today I am here. Of course, uh, law will be uh, one and all for each and everyone, whoever it may be. I, I have no comments because already the investigations are going on. Well, let the road uh, take its own course. Sadhana Tagoda making it very clear that he will not intervene in this case and that he has absolutely nothing uh, to do with it as such. At least that is the air he's portraying. Uh, he's gone on to once again make the same statement he's made from day one, which is that law will take its own course and there's no need for any of them to uh, interfere as such. Well, uh, my colleague Deepak now joins us live with more details. Uh, Deepak, as expected, Karthik Gauda going ahead and seeking anticipatory bail there. Uh, this is possibly just as a measure to ensure that at no point does he get arrested. Absolutely, Akshita. In such a case, especially he's been charged with uh, rape charges here and uh, the likelihood of him being arrested for questioning or any other, even even the police seeking ca his custody was very likely now as, as, as we contemplated earlier uh, that he would uh, go on to actually apply for an anticipatory bail. It did happen now. Uh, we'll have to wait and watch. After 3 o'clock probably that hearing will come up. We'll have to wait and watch if he will get an anticipatory bail in this regard. Now, uh, these the, the, while, while we can speculate all of this, while all the drama is happening outside my um, Maitri Gauda here has not been at a, at a residence from uh, as early as 8 o'clock this morning. Now there are speculations doing the round that she might be at a private hospital. Those, uh, while while she was there for a uh, while, while she while we speculated that she might be at a private hospital early in the morning. Now considering the fact that she is still not uh, back, we can even uh, 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 even assume that probably she's she's getting uh, uh, some sort of treatment because the kind of pressure she has been from the past uh, three days uh, speaking to the media, being at the police station yesterday for almost 11 hours, it might have taken a toll on her health as well. Now, uh, we do not understand uh, exactly which hospital or pri a private clinic she is in, but uh, there are reports as of now that she might uh, uh, be uh, under a little, bit, a little bit of stress and might be getting treated for that uh, right now, Akshita. Right, uh, uh, Deepak. Also, of course, speaking about that particular anticipatory bail, uh, uh, what are the chances of him realistically getting that? Uh, in all likelihood, of course, even if he is uh, given anticipatory bail, there will be a number of conditions put in place, including that he cannot travel out of station, considering that the police are yet to question Karthik Gowda. Absolutely, Akshita. The, the conditions of them not leaving the state or the country, and these are the these are conditions which are given in any form of bail, be it anticipatory or when you, you get a regular bail. So that that is an obligation that he will have to fulfil. Now the question here is, will he get the anticipatory bail? I mean, in in a situation like this, where where a person is charged with rape, usually the, the chances of uh, getting an anticipatory bail is really tough. But in such a situation here, uh, the chances are a little more than usual, only because of the fact that now she has charged him with cheating. She has charged him with uh, rape charges, sexual exploitation and all of these charges, but they do not come immediately after the incident. They have come after a sequence of incidents, after a lot of time. Uh, now, considering all these aspects, the chances of Karthik Gowda getting an anticipatory bail in this particular case is, uh, are probable, but however, uh, if, if you take uh, just no normal instances of uh, rape charges being leveled against any person, the chances of getting bail uh, in such cases becomes really hard. But here, considering the fact that the instances that she has mentioned is at least two months ago and uh, she has not come to the fore when the incident happened and now she's coming to the fore uh, will raise doubts. Uh, because of this, the chances of him getting an anticipatory bail will go up, Akshita. 
Right, uh, Deepak, also, of course, Sadhananda Gauda once again reacted to this issue, pretty much took the same stand where he said that uh, law will take its uh, own course. How much will that play out on the mind of uh, uh, the officials, keeping in mind that Karthik Gauda is the son of uh, a union minister? Will that effect help him in some way to go ahead and uh, seal that bail? Right, Akshita, you can, you, can, you can contemplate two things now. The railway minister reacting to this particular issue in any, any form is going to uh, uh, raise more sparks in this uh, issue, may raise more controversy. So they, he wouldn't want to react in the first place. What he said is the safest thing to say, law will take its own course. Now, uh, uh, of course, indicating that uh, in, in any way he, he, uh, he will not be pressurizing the case. That's what uh, is a clear uh, indicator from the words he's been saying. But if he's going to react to whatever Maitri Gauda has been saying, if he's going to say anything uh, that is probably going to rage up this controversy even more so uh, the family clearly uh, does not want that to happen even if they say yes or no to her allegations it is just going to uh, aggravate the issue so uh, the Gauda family here are uh, deciding to stay aloof from the allegations made against them they are uh, hoping that uh, the law will uh, as he said the law will take its course and justice will be served Dr. Right, uh, Deepak, thank you so much for joining us with uh, all those uh, updates. In fact, uh, there you have it, Karthik Gauda uh, going ahead and ensuring that he is given uh, anticipatory bail. In fact, he sought for the same. The hearing will take place later today. And we are expecting, of course, uh, a detail on that front soon. But besides that, the police are expected to call him in for questioning today. And having anticipated that is the reason uh, Karthik Gauda has gone ahead and sought for bail to ensure that at no point can they go ahead and take him into custody. Also, of course, to give you the updates that took place yesterday, Maitri uh, had a rather strange Ganesh Chaturthi. She was grilled by the RT Nagar police for about 12 hours uh, soon after she returned from the temple. And uh, she was also questioned by the cops from noon to midnight. Having seen that, of course, it is expected that the police, now that they have all that evidence in hand, will go ahead and question uh, Karthik Gauda for his version of the events that uh, took place over the last many months.